Yama, I'm Jack, and this is Newsbreak. Paris is under attack from bed bugs. Locals and tourists have been finding them everywhere. Here's Joe. The outbreak has spread far and wide. The city has been overrun, and nobody is safe. All right, the situation isn't quite like this. But the bedbug apocalypse is taking over Paris and causing a crisis. See, over the past few weeks, the number of reported sightings of these creepy critters has been rising. A lot. And not just in people's beds. They've been reported in hotels, cinemas, trains, airports, and even at Paris Fashion Week. Which isn't good news for locals or tourists. Or models, I guess. See, bedbugs feed on human blood, causing rashes, allergic reactions, and some pretty serious problems like sleeping issues, anxiety, and depression. Bedbugs have actually been a growing problem in France for a while now. But with Paris hosting the Olympic Games in less than a year, authorities are itching to get the infestation under control. The government has stepped in with sniffer dogs to sniff the bugs out on public transport. And there's even calls for home insurance companies to help people pay for pest control. But experts reckon there's still a lot more to do to end this creepy crawly nightmare. Emergency services are warning that 130 properties are in danger of being flooded in Gippsland in Victoria's east. Huge rain has hit the area, with some parts of the state recording up to 250 millimetres of rain. Lots of residents who live along the McAllister River have been told to evacuate to higher ground or to the local evacuation centre. The Royal Mint has unveiled the first coins featuring the face of His Majesty King Charles III. Here's Justina with more. Change. It's not just in our pockets. It's also a time when things transform into something new. I guess it's a bit of both in this situation. Yep, we can all expect a bit of change with our, um, change. Because after more than 70 years, Australia's currency is getting a facelift. With the Royal Mint planning to release around 10 million King Charles $1 coins before Christmas. This will be the first time for most Australians that they have held a circulating coin which has a king on it rather than a queen. So how do you get one? If you use cash and you get change, you increase your chance of, of getting a coin. Oh, that makes sense. Different coin values are also set to be released across 2024. And as for the remaining coins with Queen Elizabeth II's face on them, they'll still be legal currency. So what do you think? I'm going to be very excited to welcome it into my collection. It's a new like step into the future. It's so amazing. All my coins are from Queen Elizabeth, except now I'm going to have my first, or soon, King Charles III coin. <laughs> double, double, toil and trouble, fire burn and cauldron bubble. Oh, sorry, I'm just practicing my spells, which is a coincidence because these next stories are just like magic. <laughs> you no longer need to wait for an owl to bring you a letter because a college in the UK will soon be the first in England to offer up a degree in magic. And yes, muggles are welcome. We will be looking at the various spells that exist in different cultures, thinking about why, why, do they, why they put together in the way they are. The course will also offer classes on things like dragons in Western literature, the legend of King Arthur, as well as... How to be able to harness the powers of the moon. Yeah, what Susanna said. A man in China is using the power of magic to walk up 2,800 stairs on his hands. OK, so maybe it's less to do with magic and more to do with strong delts, lats, arms and core. But either way, it's very impressive and took him nearly six hours to complete. And visitors to a zoo in Lima are being treated to a rather magical experience. Two baby leopard cubs. And as you can see, they enjoy having a growl while they prance around and explore their habitat. Oh, and that's all we've got for you, but we'll be back tomorrow with more. Oh. I think it needs more Eye of Newt. Has anyone got Eye of Newt? No, Eye of Newt. No, not a tongue, an eye. <laughs>